Are you ready to wear your own jewellery? Collect the simple materials shown here. Let's get started. Inside your fevicryl molded packet, you'll be having a two partitions. One is resin and one is hardener. Give it a small press and cut the equal portions from both the partitions. And keep the balance in an added container. Apply talcum powder on your hand and start kneading it. After a few minutes of kneading, the clay will turn to white. Now start rolling the clay as you do for a atta. Use your cookie cutter to get the required shape. You can also use the simple bottle caps that are available at your home. Use talcum powder to smooth the surfaces. Use cookie cutters to give the impression as such how you need. Use your toothpick and mark a hole. You can also use carving tools for designing. In the same way, use the small cookie cutter to make the stud earrings or hangings. Use your head pen and fabric glue and insert it on the stud. To get the equal size beads, roll the clay as shown here. After getting the medium size, using the ruler, you can mark every 1 cm and roll it to get the round beads. Use toothpick to make the hole. Once the pieces are dried, start coloring. You can apply base coat with the black for aesthetic finish. Or you can directly give the colors of your choice, as black is not a mandatory base coat. Here, I am applying the black for all the parts, including the back side of each piece. Once black is dried, you can use different colors for each partitions. Once all the pieces are dried, start with the assembling. Using the plier, open the hanging hook and fix it to the head pin of stead. Now for a neck piece, take the rope of required length and fix a fabric glue on its edges. You can insert the pendant to your rope in different ways and this is a very simple one. Now insert the colored beads on either side and make a knot. Using a plier and the dory end locks, you can finish your neck set as shown here. Trim the excess rope using the scissor. Now attach the S hook and round ring on either sides. Make sure you are using the plier to tighten the openings on all parts. I hope you will love to make this simple jewellery. Give your reviews and feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you for watching.